Welcome to our Delmi podcast, Globe Operations on the Go. I'm your host, Therese Snow. Today, we have a very special show featuring two guests. We will be discussing sustainability and the virtual twin experience. Here with me are Wendy Klotz, Delmi Strategic Business Development and Marketing Director, and Prashant Mysore, Delmi Senior Offer Marketing and Strategic Business Development Director. Welcome, Wendy and Prashant. Thank you, Therese. I'm very happy to uh, talk on this topic with you and Prashant. Thanks, Therese and Wendy. Thanks for having me here, which is such which is such an important topic on sustainability. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. And I concur. Sustainability is a very important topic. Um, so eager to get going. So why don't we do this? Let's start with telling our listeners a little bit about yourselves. Uh, Wendy, why don't we start with you? I've been involved in uh, a marketing and business development role for the past 25 years, specifically for the manufacturing uh, industry. And one of the things that I have become uh, very aware of and interested in as in my professional role and uh, my personal life is the role of sustainability and its importance um, in our everyday lives and the, the future of uh, where we're going to be living and especially our children. So it's something I've taken a particular interest in um, pursuing and how we can communicate better and promote uh, better solutions for our environment. That sounds great. And I think that's really an important topic, not just in the workplace, but also at home. So thank you, Wendy, for, for sharing that. Uh, Prashant, what about you? Why don't we uh, start uh, hearing a little bit about your background, please? Yeah, just over uh, two decades of uh, hardcore manufacturing experience. Uh, worked with uh, Japanese automotive majors in my previous life. Um, sustainability, it all started with uh, while, while I was working for uh, Japanese companies on lean manufacturing. Uh, as we all know, lean manufacturing is a starting point of sustainability. It started like uh, three decades ago. Uh, concepts like Muda, Mura, and Muri are the three Japanese uh, terms that describe the types of ways that can impact companies' workflow, productivity, and customer satisfaction. So we practiced that uh, thoroughly during uh, those days, and it continued. And we continue to practice uh, waste elimination and sustainability. And that's that has been my favorite topic, uh, both personally and professionally. That sounds great. I feel like I have the right people to talk to today. Uh, interested to hear more about sustainability. So uh, for our listeners, we are going to discuss sustainability and the virtual twin experience. You know, really, as you both have mentioned, sustainability is such an important topic. Uh, I know many companies talk about being eco-friendly, about being green, but why exactly is that important, Wendy? Companies have a corporate and social responsibility to operate sustainably and design sustainable products. However, industrial operations can create further environmental damage from emissions, excessive material waste, energy consumption, and disposal methods. Some important areas that uh, manufacturing companies can uh, take a look at are reducing their waste and improving their use of energy, water, and raw materials, which will enable them to lower their costs and also boost their profit margins. Sustainable plants are better placed to meet governmental and industrial regulations, cutting the burden of compliance and reducing the risk of costly audits. And lastly, customer expectations are evolving. Today's customers are more conscious of environmental issues and tend to prefer brands that demonstrate a commitment to sustainability. Um, and meeting these expectations not only helps in retaining customers, but also strengthens the brand reputation and loyalty. Yeah, both of which I think are very important topics for sure. The reputation and the loyalty uh, is all brands would like. Wendy, you already touched a little bit upon the benefits, uh, but let's go further. Are there more benefits to a company being sustainable? Yes, there are. Um, becoming a more sustainable company um, helps them to become more efficient, especially by using fewer resources, 
um, by streamlining processes and optimizing resource use, companies can operate more efficiently, uh, utilize fewer resources while maintaining or even enhancing output. Uh, it not only lowers operational costs, but also improves their overall productivity. Energy conservation is another major benefit. Through sustainable practices, companies can significantly reduce their energy consumption, which helps the environment and cuts energy costs. And by adopting innovative technologies and processes, manufacturing businesses can ensure they are using energy in the most efficient manner possible. And by proactively adopting sustainable measures, companies can ensure compliance and avoid potential fines and improve their standing within the industry. No, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to, thank you, Wendy. I'm going to move on to Prashant um, as this topic is sustainability and the virtual twin. Um, Prashant, would you mind enlightening our audience on what exactly the virtual twin experience is? Thanks, Wendy. That was a useful uh, update, and I'm uh, really uh, picking up some points from you. Uh, Dassault Systems Virtual Twin, which is not so far away from the latest industrial definition of digital twin, which is which has been quite famous. Uh, most people know about digital twin, but uh, as far as we are concerned, digital twins are static, whereas virtual twins are a faithful virtual representation of physical and functional entities that can be evaluated, validated, and verified. Virtual twin facilitate optimization of uh, behavior, uh, behavior of uh, plant, behavior of processes, behavior of supply chain, or any functional element under any number of operating scenarios using real time or experimental data. So Prashant, how exactly then can Delmia's virtual twin help a company become more sustainable? I would like to bring in a brief perspective here, uh, Therese. You know, the following footsteps of European sustainability norms, country like Australia is making it mandatory uh, climate-related financial disclosure, which by July 2027 will capture most Australian companies with more than 100 staff or $25 million gra gross assets or $50 million in revenue. And all of them have to disclose their GHG, which is greenhouse gas emission. Uh, this is mandatory. So mandatory climate disclosure for the largest companies ahead of the equivalent regime in Australia is planned to commence on January 1st coming year itself. Like most of the mining companies have to disclose their GHG emissions. Uh, this is where Dalmia Virtual Twin can really help uh, uh, the companies, not only in Australia, globally, uh, using Virtual Twin technology, which can help companies to rethink their products, processes, and business model to realize la radically how, uh, how they can actually interpret, how they can validate the GHG emissions. And this is where Dalmia comes into picture, right? So Dalmia Virtual Twin Experience supports uh, sustainability uh, through GHG emission capturing or reconciliation, and as well profitability through uh, the first and the foremost being um, using 3D model-based uh, approach uh, to capture all information related to sustainability like land utilization, water consumption, the source of power or the source of energy, whether it is coal-fired or oil and gas-fired or it is solar or wind power, those things will also define your CO2 emission, your methane emission, or uh, even other greenhouse gas effects emission. So we can actually model that uh, either a new plant or augmenting an existing plant using 3D modeling and simulation. So we do have a large database within 3D experience platform, which has a reference database to actually model this carbon footprint. All right. So next comes uh, the simulation, simulation to experiment the whole process, be it manufacturing process or be it supply chain process, um, even the uh, asset management process, uh, one can actually capture GHG emissions and CO2 production so that they can actually monitor and contain or even optimize or reduce the emission sources as well. So that's the second point, right? Uh, we also monitor the closed loop uh, real-time updates from uh, virtual to physical world, uh, which means that uh, you continuously monitor your power consumption, CO2 footprint, uh, methane production, carbon monoxide production, all of them, which eventually results as equivalent CO2. Now you keep hearing the word eCO2, uh, emission reconciliation, which is actually mandatory. So we can actually monitor through uh, Delmia, Apriso, manufacturing operations management. Right, And uh, we also have uh, IT and OT contextualization through advanced manufacturing techniques. IT, OT contextualization means bringing the source of information from IT, which is information technology sources, to operation technology sources. They can contextualize to validate the sustainability index as well. 
And then last but not the least, uh, Delmia has the best in class uh, technologies like augmented reality for improved processes, execution management, quality management, or most importantly, worker productivity, which contributes a lot by way of training towards the sustainability goals. Sure, I can see that. I think that's a really very good point. Uh, expanding on that, Prashant, can you explain uh, what what are some of the benefits of the virtual twin? Yep, and then some of the things which I uh, which I can uh, improve upon my previous uh, description. Virtual twin plays a critical role. Uh, in sustainability, as I said, it's GHG, greenhouse gas effect and the reconciliation and emission management, right? There are multiple benefits of it. Virtual twin experience plays a huge role in uh, monitoring uh, and reconciling emission processes, which helps eventually in optimizing or reducing the greenhouse gas effect. It also plays an important role in the circular economy, wherein through what if analysis, so what if scenario simulation, one can get into circular process, right? Um, as I said earlier, virtual twin experience is also also the foundation uh, foundation for uh, validating uh, the sustainability KPIs. Obviously, we define KPIs based on the global standards. 3D Experience Platform has these standards available already. One can actually use these standards to ensure that you know, we are adhering to uh, some of the predefined KPIs. And the third and the last important point is that uh, Virtual twin experience help uh, reduce product development life cycle, uh, product development life cycle times uh, with improved manufacturing processes, uh, quality control, uh, asset management, and uh, rest of the business process within manufacturing more efficiently and uh, ensure that uh, resource utilization is less. Do more with less is the goal of sustainability. Do more with less. I like that. No, very good points, Prashant. Thank you. So back to you, Wendy. What would you say are the steps that are needed, uh, for example, for achieving more sustainability in manufacturing and supply chain? I would say uh, the important steps include um, to assess your current processes. Um, begin by thoroughly evaluating your existing manufacturing and supply chain processes, which involves identifying areas where waste can be reduced energy consumption minimized, and your overall environmental impact. Uh, a comprehensive assessment uh, can provide a baseline from which uh, manufacturing companies can uh, keep accurate measurement. Another step is to integrate advanced technologies such as Delmia's virtual twin experience. This allows for virtual simulations to optimize production processes and can help in reducing uh, a manufacturing company's waste and energy usage while also improving efficiency and quality. Uh, obviously, uh, another way would be to use digital tools to optimize supply chain operations. This includes improving resource management and reducing transportation needs, which can significantly, significantly cut out um, those harmful carbon emissions. And to consider the entire life cycle of products and materials from sourcing to end of life to ensure you have a true sustainable supply chain. And lastly, like Prashant mentioned previously, a continuous monitoring and evaluation process. This involves tracking key performance indicators related to your environmental impact, resource use, and your efficiency. Regular assessments uh, enable you to make necessary adjustments and improvements as you go along and also ensure that you are uh, continuously meeting your sustainability goals and mandates. Yes, Wendy, uh, very well articulated. Uh, in order to achieve uh, more sustainability in manufacturing and supply chain, uh, some of the recent uh, research which I've been doing in this part of the world and mostly in Asia and Australia, I would also recommend our uh, uh, prospects and customers to go on a path of uh, uh, design and simulation to optimize, to execute. You know, These are the three main steps to achieve uh, sustainability goals. What do I mean by this? Design and uh, simulate. Design and simulate your uh, new plants or uh, existing plants, upgrade existing plants into sustainable plants. What do I mean by that? 
leverage Dalmia for designing and planning new, more sustainable manufacturing plants with uh, uh, with controlled uh, GHG emissions. We do have a huge uh, database in 3D Express platform to do it, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, some of the key GHGs, which I also mentioned earlier, are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide. All of them are actually converted into eCO2 monitoring, which is equivalent of CO2 monitoring, which can be done with uh, Dalmia uh, digital manufacturing and simulation, right? So once you have this plant ready, which is sustainability enabled plant, uh, obviously, uh, as Wendy mentioned, we go on to monitor, monitor the production performance, monitor the supply chain performance, or uh, even asset management performance, continuously monitor and evaluate uh, various uh, emission standards, as I mentioned earlier. And then this is where Delmia manufacturing operations management really comes into picture. And one can make necessary adjustments to ensure ongoing improvements and adherence to sustainability targets uh, using Delmia manufacturing operations management. Last but not the least is uh, optimizing the supply chain and logistics using uh, Delmia supply chain and uh, logistics planning tools to optimize resource management, which is the key uh, emission uh, uh, source. Uh, having a much better resource optimization, resource management uh, within supply chain and logistics eventually reduce transportation needs and also the emission of uh, CO2 and e equivalent CO2 as well, and improve overall sustainability grow goals across the supply chain by optimizing resources. There's so much information, and I'm sure our listeners have learned quite a bit. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you both today on sustainability and the virtual twin. Uh, thank you so much for being guest on the show. Thank you, Therese and Prashant. Uh, it was great to have this conversation uh, with you both. And thank you both. It's wonderful to uh, discuss this topic of sustainability, which is we are so passionate and close to our heart. No, absolutely. And it, it's so important to, to convey the message. So right now, I would like to thank our listeners for tuning in. To learn more about Delmia Sustainability and the Virtual Twin, click on the links where this podcast is posted. I'm your host, Therese Snow, and you've been listening to Delmia's podcast, Global Operations on the Go. 